in this tutorial I'm gonna go over quiz number three uh, let me first start with the problem number one there is a distance between A and B and the A to B is 30 meters so a person moves from A to B all right back and forth so then B to A is also 30 meters so total distance is 60 meters if you go to B and come back to A is 16 meters and if you do it three times then it's 180 meters and if you spend 60 seconds to do it three times then if you divide it by 60 seconds then you get what we call average speed so three meters per second so average speed of this runner is three meters per second number two art an object, this is an art, an object is falls and near the art surface. So this is art surface and this object, this is mass, falls, falls near art surface. So anything falls near art surface, acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meter per second squared. All right. Okay. So at some point, its velocity is 98 meter per second down. Of course, the velocity is down when something falls. What do we want to find? We want to find how long does it take. So again, Vf is equal to Vi plus At. Vf, of course, is 98. And down arrow means negative. Vi, of course, this is a free fall and drop. Okay, so that means initial velocity is zero. So zero minus a is minus 9.8 and t. So t is a negative 98 meter per second and um, and uh, and uh, this is uh, 9.8 9.8 uh, negative 9.8 meter per second square. So t is of course 10 second question number three is just like question number two instead of finding the time of a falling object you just want to draw the graph so again drop an object mass is falling so with initial velocity is zero of course so i give you a pair of graph so this is dt so this is again again free fall All right. so why this is wrong okay so uh, when object in free fall, the distance versus time or displacement versus time has to be quadratic. Distance versus time or displacement versus time has to be quadratic. So this is not quadratic, bad. All right, so um, the B looks good. So let's check it C. C is also not quadratic. DT when object falls has to be quadratic. So D, D is wrong. And B, of course, is right. This is quadratic and this is, of course, the diagonal line. When you go from displacement to velocity, you lose one degree of polynomial. So from quadratic to linear, you see that. Now, you see that over here, you lose one degree. You did not lose over here. You lose one degree you don't gain all right so if for example if this is linear this has to be constant okay so but if you move from displacement to velocity you lose you don't gain and that's the same case for distance to speed if you go from distance to speed you lose a degree of polynomial if it is quadratic this is going to become linear if this is linear this is going to become constant you get it all right number four again object falls freely right that means dropping or free fall or velocity initial is zero they all are the same this is what we are trying to accomplish is speed versus time all right when you drop something is speed versus time let's find the displacement distance versus time just to take just to see how the distance versus time look like distance versus time always quadratic when you draw an object okay so 
if you go from distance uh, to three, of course, what did I say before? You lose one degree of polynomial. So this is quadratic, this is gonna become linear. So linear is a diagonal line. So which one looks like a diagonal line? Is this look like a diagonal line? No. Is this look like a never speed 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 versus time uh, never gonna be a quadratic never i said it many times cannot stress it more never is speed versus time never gonna be never never ever ever never gonna be quadratic so this is the only choice because you use the common sense if you don't have the common sense then you use the math okay of course math is as strong as common sense so Okay, that takes us number five. Uh, you throw a ball with initial sum, initial velocity. This is of course dt def. Initial velocity is how much? 29.4 meter per second. You want to find the max height from here to here. What is the max height? Okay, this is what we find. What do we know? Velocity at the top or max height, velocity at the max height is zero. So to find it, Vf squared is equal to Vi squared plus 2ad. So velocity at max is equal to, again, you can rewrite this equation that way. It looks convincing for the use. So 0 squared is equal to Vi, 29.4 squared plus 2, negative 9.8, of course, the d. So d is equal to 29.4 squared, uh, and this is 19.6. So this d is equal to 44.1 meter so this is actually 44.1 meter max height okay so this is the answer to question number five it is a little tricky so pay attention to question six i'm going to give you two uh, scenario scenario one so you, if you have you are uh, on the top of a building all right if you are on the top of a building see this is uh, mr berry all right and this is um, this is this is i don't know this is uh this is uh this is uh this is um uh this is uh this is mr uh, this is mr barry and this is mr this, so this is mr barry and this is tag okay and oh, there is a terrorist coming from behind when Mr. Barry is minding his own business on the rooftop. On the rooftop, he is minding his own business. He knows few things. He knows that he is 50 meters above the ground. All right, both of them are on the same building. Who is going to uh, be able to survive? All right, there is a terror. Come with the gun. Come with the gun. Now, this is concrete and there is a river over here, 100 meters away from the wall river 100 meter away from the wall now carry jump uh, carry velocity jump with i don't know four meter per second and very jump with velocity two meter per second okay now who will take longer time to land on the ground Okay, be it river or be it uh, ground, so just concrete, concrete ground, concrete ground. All right, so you, no matter where you land, who will take longer, Terry or Barry? Because of course, Terry uh, velocity is double than Barry's velocity. Well, the both gonna take the same time. The Terry gonna take the same time as Barry. Same time, same time, all right. So what we learn, we learn that the velocity, velocity has nothing to do with the time. What? On oh, X component of the velocity. When you run on the rooftop, of course, your x component of the velocity is for y component. You don't have access to the y component when you run on the rooftop. You don't have access to that unless you you start you start you can uh, you can walk walk in the air, which is not possible. Okay, so that means your v y is zero, 
your Vy is zero for both. All right, so both will take long, uh, same amount of time. However, who will probably survive? This guy will probably survive is because the x component of the velocity affect the range. And this is called range. And x component of the velocity affect the range. And this is called a range. So the, he will probably land on river and he will definitely not fall in river. So he will fall on the land. So this guy probably has, has no, no idea of physics. So this guy probably has some idea of physics. So this guy end up, uh, end up survive from chapter. Okay, now let's solve this problem. D is equal to VIT plus half AT squared. Of course, the Y component affect the time. Y component after the time. So both Y component are zero. That's why both will take the same time. All right. So since Y component affect the time, dy, dy, ly, vy. So this is of course a negative 50. Don't write positive 50. You're gonna get zero minus. This is half. I'll put plus if you want. Uh, all right. So negative 50 is equal to negative 4.9 t squared. So what do you get? T is equal to the square root of 50 over 4.9, which is 3.2. Of course, second. Don't forget to write second. If you forget to write second, then you lose point. Number seven is easy. DT, which is, of course, a diagonal line, and I ask you to convert it to VT. So this is easy. So I told you, if you go from DT to VT, of course, you lose one degree of polynomial. So this is a linear. So this is going to become a constant. What did I tell you? If this is a diagonal, this is going to be horizontal. Absolutely horizontal. Number eight. Time. And I give you area under the curve. So this is called area under the curve. All right. So what is the name of this one? This name is a displacement. If you write by mistake this sense, it would be wrong. Why wrong? Because hey, this e is going to be the distance. This e is going to be the distance. This is distance. As this is displacement. Never ever forget that. All right. Which one represent positive velocity but negative acceleration? All right, let's start with the hint. Long time ago, I gave you an assignment. And remember, I gave you a dt like this. And then you have to do like this and then you're gonna go like this and then come back like this and I get told you well, this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five and I ask you to convert it to pt that and which you did so one you convert it like that and you put one two you convert it like this and you put two three you convert it like this and you put three and four you convert it like this velocity is zero of course velocity is zero and of course you wrote four and five you converted it like this and wrote five now this problem i took this one and i put it over here and that's it so the velocity is max over here and velocity is zero over here entire time velocity is a positive and it becomes zero because it fight with the acceleration so acceleration velocity they are opposite direction that's why velocity is less over here than here 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 in velocity is zero over here and that's what velocity is zero over here this point and this point they are the same right here velocity is positive acceleration positive that's why it is never slow down is is it speed up is slow down all right forget about this one this one velocity is positive and uh, acceleration positive so of course this is the answer now number 10 looks like this that object is moving with constant velocity okay so object is moving with constant velocity let's understand quickly object is moving with constant velocity so let's quickly put four over here all right so this is what we mean constant velocity so put four over here okay good this is constant velocity 
constant velocity, opposite moves with constant velocity. So far, so good. All right, object is at rest. So this is one, this is one. Object is at rest. Object is at rest from four to six. From four to six, object is at rest. All right. From six to eight, object is accelerating. Accelerating, accelerating. Accelerating, but hey, this is loss of velocity. This is velocity is zero. So loss of velocity, loss of velocity. This point. This is this is two. This is two. This is let's say this two two a. This is two a. All right. This is say two b. So this is two b. All right. The last part is this one. All right, this one, all right. So this is, of course, is continuing this. So this is, of course, three, and this is three. All right, so this is eight. This is eight meter, object moves eight meter, object moves zero meter, object moves eight meter, object moves eight meter. So eight meter, all right, zero to four second, object moves eight meter, four to six, object moves zero meter, uh, 6 to 8, object moves 8 meters, and 8 to 10, object moves again 8 meters. Alright, so 24 meters. Alright, and this is how you will convert it. Alright, I'll ask you to do it maybe in the, in the exam 3.